My name is Chris Norton. I'm the director of the Egypt Exploration Society. The Egypt Exploration Society's main connection with uh, the trade in antiquities is around the fact that the ES itself excavated many thousands of objects from Egypt um, from 1883 onwards. Up until 1983, the Society, through the partage system, was entitled to ask for a portion of those objects to be removed from Egypt. And they would then come back to London, where the Society's HQ is. Initially, uh, those would then be exhibited in London but then distributed to museum collections around the world. Now, the intention on the Society's part was that those objects would stay in those public museums, public collections, so that one, there would be some kind of guarantee or assurance that they would be kept safe, not damaged, not compromised in any other way, and also that they would be accessible to scholars and to the public. So the Society's intention was always that they would stay in the places where they were, they were put. Sometimes, however, those objects come onto the market and our concern there is that they're, if they're put up for sale in open auction, they may disappear into private collections. And at that point, we have much less control over whether those things might be lost or damaged. And of course, there's no guarantee that there will be any access whatsoever. So our concern is that on ethical grounds, and on the basis that the society was only allowed to take these objects out of Egypt with the blessing of the Egyptian authorities, but on the basis that they would be for the good of the public and scholarship, we are doing everything we can to try to make sure that those things are not sold and they are maintained in those collections. There is something that the EES can do to try to help this, and not just the EES, but other institutions like it and professionals um, like those who work for the EES and that is to raise awareness of the issues. I think we on the inside, archaeologists, Egyptologists, papyrologists, etc., tend to take for granted why it is important that the objects remain in collections, but I'm not sure that there is always a great awareness of that. I think there is especially a lack of awareness of the distinction between objects excavated by the EES and other institutions with the full blessing of the Egyptian authorities and other pieces which have come onto the market via other means. So our particular concern is in raising awareness of that. These are objects which were legally allowed to leave the country uh, with the full support of the Egyptian authorities for the, the purposes of being for the public benefit. So I think if we can just help raise awareness of that, we might, um, we hope, form a kind of groundswell of support against those institutions, um, like the St. Louis um, Archaeological Institute of America recently, which chose to sell its objects uh, on the open market. I think if we can raise awareness of the reasons why this is bad, then hopefully we'll be able to persuade people, firstly, not to sell them, and secondly, collectors perhaps not to buy them as well.